So, hello friends. Good morning. Uh, we were just discussing soft computing part and in soft computing, we were discussing fuzzy sets. In this particular video, we are going to discuss fuzzy operations. So, we have divided different fuzzy operations into two different parts. This is definitely part one in which we will generally uh, discuss some basic operations of fuzzy sets. And in next video, we will discuss some other advanced uh, fuzzy set operations. So let's start. The different fuzzy operations that we have with the fuzzy sets is union. In union, what we are seeing that if we have two different sets, say uh, A and B, in that case, what we will get the membership value of the very first uh, membership value of the set A and the first membership value of set B, that is say 1.0 in this case and 0.2 in this case. So what we will get is the maximum value out of them. So what is the maximum value? That is definitely one. So in that case, the result of max of 1.0,0.2 is one and that will be our result. The same thing we will perform with all the elements of both the sets with their specific indexes. Say, so next time we will compare 0 0.20 with 0 0.45, then 0 0.75 with 0 0.50 and every time we will get the maximum value and that will be our result. In pictorial representation, as you can see here, we have two sets A and B and after performing union operations, we are getting the maximum of these two and this is basically the pictorial representation of union operations here. The second operation is intersection. Intersection uh, is basically the reverse of union. That is in union, we are getting the maximum value while in intersection, we will get the minimum value. So the same operation will be performed. We have the same sets A and B. And now instead of finding the maximum of the two corresponding values, we will get the minimum of them. So minimum of 0.1 and 0.2 is 0.2. Minimum of 0.20 and 0.45 is 0.20. Minimum of 0 0.75, 0 0.50 is 0 0.50 and that is our result in this case. Same the pictorial representation will be this one because we will get the minimum value out of them. Okay. Complement. Complement will be performed with one set only. So we have a single set A that is having three specific value and how we will calculate complement is one minus the membership value. Okay. So that is one minus 1.0, one minus 0 0.20, one minus 0.75. And the result that we'll get is 0 0.80 and 0.25. And this is again the pictorial representation of that one. That is the complement of uh, a specific set A. Right. Now, there are some specific properties also that fuzzy set contain. As the crisp set do have its own properties, we have some properties of fuzzy sets also. So, what are those properties? First is commutativity. According to commutativity, if we have two sets A and B and we are applying union operations into them, that's, we will get the same result if we will apply union approach, union operations between B and A. So in both the cases, we are getting the same result. Same for intersection two. And then in associativity, if we have A union B union C, that will be equal to A union B union C. In that case, if first this operation will be performed with this one and then this, is equals to the operation performed initially with these two and then this the result will be same and the same operation will be performed with intersection also and the same way if we are talking about distributivity according to distributivity uh, we have three sets a union b intersection c we will equally distribute it with the equally distribute the element of say a with b and c in this form a union b and then apply the intersection between A and C, right? Same as for intersection, A intersection B, then apply union operation, then A intersection C. So that is distributivity, right? According to idempotence, if A is union with A itself, then you will get the same set because we do not uh, include the duplicate values again. So definitely maximum of one and one, you will get one. Maximum of 0.45 and 0.45, you will get 0.45. So in that case, you will get the same result every time. And same is for intersection because the minimum of one and one is one and 0 0.50 and 0 0.50 is 0 0.50. So inter in intersection, sorry, in, uh, so yes, intersection and union, both you will get the same thing. But if you are applying union, say with the null set, you will get A itself because that A is the maximum in that case. While in intersection, you will get uh, nulls. 
right that this rule is basically the called the inimportance inimportance rule according to transitivity if we have three sets abc if a is subset of b b is subset of c then a will be subset of c also this is transitivity rule and the de morgan's law specifies that if we have two sets a and b and we are applying a common intersection of the whole sets like a inter uh, intersection b uh, the whole complement you will get a complement union b complement that means we will individually apply complement with the both the elements and then we will change the sign and same we will do we will apply complement with a and b and we'll change the sign okay union will become intersection intersection will become union in this, in this case and that is basically called the de morgan's law so guys thank you for watching this video in next video uh, we are going to discuss some further uh, fuzzy operations uh, like how we are going to calculate uh, the summed values and uh, different kind of sum values and uh, how we are going to calculate the Cartesian products of uh, two specific fuzzy sets and so on. So till that video, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.